ladies and gentlemen, here we are in a Magnum Gulag. This is where you really find out if this player is about to be goaded or not. Beautiful stun. Right off the bat, just 10 out of 10 from this player here. Love the aggression. I decided halfway through that, when he ran out of ammo and continued to lay prone, that I was just going to go ahead and kill him. <laughs> At first, I just kind of toyed with him. Um, missing the stun, I probably should have just killed him instantly because that would have been a bad one to, to spectate. But we're going we're gonna to move on over here, see if we can catch up. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Splat me, Mr. Helicopter Aggressive Guy. Come here. Come here. Come kill me. Come kill me, brother. Hey, man. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Daddy hippie smashing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Somebody with eyeballs. I like it. There we go. Look at the, look at the power of that beautiful weapon. Mm. Moving on to... I already forgot his name. Hippie smash, rocket two kills, got team push on the heat. So we went, we didn't really get to witness the fight, but we saw the ending, and that's all that really needs to be said. Both those enemies legitimately just pushed us one at a time. And the last guy, I don't even think, shot his weapon. Just ran right to the door, didn't even think about ADSing once. Now, I don't want you guys ADSing. As you're walking, but as you're coming, he's up, he's above you. See a shadow. Nice knock, son. Dude, the MP4 is so good. That's a good gun. But as you guys are approaching doorways, like that second guy he killed was, was you need to quickly be on, be ready to just ADS and get the shots off. Guy below you, could collapse. And again, enemies just funneling. Unfortunately, he didn't see those enemies. But, but literally, all four of the kills that we witnessed him get was just enemy, enemies funneling to him one at a time instead of pushing together and collapsing together. Granted, it was two different teams, but regardless, they would have pushed together. He would have been dead a long time ago. Moving on to Midnight Nova, level 281. Not really that aggressive either, but you're going to kill a prone layer any day of the damn week. Moving on, baby! Now, I don't see this regain going well. He's by himself. Hippie lost his gulag, so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a hard match no matter what. Both the teammates back the fuck out. Now look, if you guys are tired of playing by yourself and you're looking for teammates that are actually willing to complete an entire match with you, make sure you join our Discord community. I'm gonna have the graphic going right here. That way you guys can see exactly what you need to do. When you click the link in the description, it's gonna bring up the Discord page. You're gonna hit join. Then you're gonna go over to whatever that says and you're gonna click a role. Make sure you pick a role. Doesn't matter what role, just pick a role. Once you have one or two or all three roles clicked, you'll be able to see all of the pages in the Discord. The reason we do that is to prevent people from spamming our Discord with some bullshit NFT. What the f That we've been getting lately. So make sure you guys pick a role and you guys can see all the LFG pages. But moving on to Miss, Mr. Guy, Midnight Nova rocking solo squads. To be honest, if I was so the squad, this is where I would go too. You might as well get some fights and get some practice in before you fucking die. Oh. People come up the stairs, ladder right hand side. He does not have audio at all. He's, he's right below us. He was coming up. Then he went down. Now he's coming back up. Now he's running back to the left. Decoy going out. We're falling for the decoy bait. It's a very weird thing to witness. I'm gonna be honest. Enemies one tap. Do we jump in and take advantage of that? No, we do not. We're gonna allow the enemy to go ahead and play it up and hopefully fight again. But I'm gonna be honest, the speed that enemy broke away, he might he might be a decent player. He might be. You never know. But if you have an enemy crack, you gotta take advantage of it. I understand the hesitation because he didn't want to jump down into the unknown. Could be two, could be three people down there, but we're gonna do it anyway eventually. So he might as well have done it when he wasn't played it up. That's what I thought. Nice movement from Dami. DT able to go left, right, and just B-hop his way to victory. Good movement in that fight. We were already pre-ADSing the door. We have the beautiful brand, very powerful weapon. And again, judging by his reaction time alone on the staircase, I already determined that Dami DT was a competent player, rocking eight kills right off the bat. He's also in a solo squad situation. Let's see how this player regains. Now, what do we have around us? Not really too much. We could go for most wanted bounty, but that's not really that fun. 
We do have a chopper though. So if we get the most wanted bounty, just fly around for a few minutes, la di da. Probably the safest bet, but definitely not the most entertaining. So I think he's gonna just go ahead and try to loot up, get as many players back by looting as he can. And all of this shit looks to be looted. I'd imagine the tunnels are looted too, I'm gonna be honest. So again, I would take the chopper and I, I probably wouldn't do the most wanted, but it's definitely an option. Um, there's, or just fly to another area that has different buildings. Peak is usually gonna be looted in the first several minutes just because the amount of teams that come in this area. Okay, and we're gonna abandon the helicopter altogether. Taking a more stealthy approach. I don't hate on it. I can vibe with it. Door's already open, so this is looted as well. It's pretty unfortunate, honestly. And again, the helicopter has been a great tool because, again, fast way to move across the map and go from area to area, and you kind of just kind of just observe what's going on around it without actually putting yourself down on ground level in a, in a bad position. Got a two team fight over here. Great. I mean, he didn't really intend to bail out in this position, but great spot. Able to clean up. We got an enemy to the left hand side behind the box as well, but your boy does not give a f look at the shots. Great armor break. Look at that. Trying to get some shots through the building. A little 360 stem. Look at this. We got phase one up, bitch. Nice job shooting in the build to get a little bit of redirect, but the enemy was too busy at the whatever he was at. I don't know what he was doing. Checking the heartbeat, maybe. Dami going in. This is honestly an accidental third party. He saw the helicopter. He saw the rotor spinning. He was originally going to jump down there and realize it's a bad idea. And I was actually about to say it was a bad idea to go to that direction because you have no idea who's there. But as we're jumping down, he decides, you know, I'm going to come this area. And he just happens to see two teams fighting. Enemy right in front of him. This guy's oblivious. He should have just heard the gunshots to his well behind him. But apparently, again, oblivious. Oh, look, buy station, brother. I know you want the kills and you want to get aggressive. Let's go ahead and buy, brother. Buy, 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 buy. Do not lose this momentum. We got $12,000 that buys back all of our teammates and we're sitting fucking pretty. But as we're navigating up this hill, we are in a bad position because we just killed Homie and he's probably got teammates nearby. And if they are here, if they are close and they're shooting at us, we have no cover. Enemy on the hill right there, the 120. Probably didn't see him because he was in the buy. He saw him, never mind. Oh no, this is not looking good for your boy. Oh no. Oh, woo! Helicopter coming in behind us. We gotta bail out of this area, brother. I'm shocked in many aspects why he didn't launch that on top of us. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna give your boy Dom any more tips. He just killed I'm a girl, bro. That's... That's just wrong, but you shouldn't hit a lady. I going off right next to the team fight. We still have homeboy over there to the left hand side. I don't know if we got the kill. We might have, I doubt it. This enemy took off, bro. He, he jumped off the hill, he's gone. He's gone. The Dom, oh, cyber grenade, Dom, don't do it. Dom said, fucking shut your whore mouth, savage. You little bitch. Helicopter coming back. Again, going back to the chopper. That ended up bailing out that we killed. I'm surprised he launched it on us. It looked like he was about to full send that shit. That's why I kept saying to get out of there, but what a lobby. What a lobby. You know what? I bet you Dom DT is drinking some sneak energy. I bet you he is. Abusing. Let's check out the rest of the squad. That big dog. We got F gums, and we've got Riot Shield Skiff. Hell yeah, brother!
Your boy's definitely got some pace right now, though, I'll tell you that. Circle's rotating in 40 seconds. I'd like to start walking in that direction at least. Maybe even get in a position to gatekeep these fools or close the gap. Good job, big dog. Supplying some great cover fire from the high ground. Able to get the kill that on the guy that killed the right shield boy. But again, 17 seconds. I go ahead and start closing this gap. Get to the zone and gatekeep the rest of these guys. And I highly doubt that's the last team there. There's probably multiple teams. I love hit markers when they don't have armor plates with the sniper rifle. It makes no damn sense. Look at these guys here. Look at these dudes. Light them up, Dommy! Unfortunately, guy comes in right behind your boy. We're pinched. We're in a rock and a hard place, brother. Now, going back to the rotation, because we're on the edge of the circle, I wanted to rotate out and get the gatekeep on him. Not only that, and I didn't even think about it, to be honest, but people are coming down from peak, and it looks like we're trying to get, they're trying to third-party us. Oh, Dami. We saw the guy on the right-hand side, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that one. You already know, brother. You already fucking know. I'm gonna eat my cough drop and shut my fucking mouth. So, overall, guys, what do y'all rate Dami? Scale of 1 to 10. I'll give him a solid 8. Give him a solid 8. For sure. Anxious to see how he plays end game strategy, to be honest. That's going to be nice. Now, I'm never going to judge a sniper for taking range shots like that. It's hard for any sniper to hit range shots like that consistently, unless you're absolutely god like Symphony. But he's definitely not a bot. Definitely a good player. We got incendiary rounds flying at us. Good movement trying to zigzag his way to victory. Coming from the left hand side. Those enemies are really taking some shots in the dark, spamming that shit. Even if he hit us 10 times, it still wouldn't have enough to do any damage. Lala Ditto, I want to have a conversation with you, Lala. What the fuck were you doing? Lala right now is like, I was camping in the corner crouch. Why weren't my shots more accurate? <sighs> Jesus. Boomers, man, am I right? Am I right? Oh God, not the Bertha. Bertha players. Oh no, no, guy behind us. Oh no, unfortunate. We go down. I had no idea where the hell he came from. Is that Lala's boyfriend? Oh no. Oh, God. Not the Fortnite jumping, bitch. Get him right, kill boy. Oh, no. No. Say it ain't so. I don't know where that guy came from. I'm going to be honest. I would have died, too. I would have died, too. Well, we were already playing the edge in the, in the first place. La, la, la. Oh, my God. Moving on to this team here. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mac and Chasey? Well, good job, Don, but, you know, it's called Maris War Zone. Sometimes you get killed by shitty players for no fucking reason because they're camping way too long. It is what it is. Moving on to this team right here. Look at the combined two kills. We got a vehicle parked. Like my wife drives. I'm kidding, Alex. I love you. Oh, and Hendrix, level 238 with zero kills. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. One kill. Rock and ground loot weapons. We've got a big game bounty mark. This should be an easy kill for us. They're out in the open. We're so busy restocking up on a bunch of shit we don't need right this second. We're going to miss out on this kill. I hope he kills this team. I hope the big game bounty f***s 
on this team hard. Oh, weird. They ran away. Who would have thought? Fuck, if only you'd reacted faster than 16 seconds. Let's go. White boy, no teeth, brother. Yo. Just because you ain't got teeth doesn't mean you won't have to have aim, fam. What are you doing? What are you doing? Got to our right hand side. Blue's going to die regardless. Unfortunate for him. We're being shot at trying to bust the cover. Hendrix stepping it up a notch, whipping out his beautiful bar to kill somebody lame prone. Look at this shit. Oh my god. How did Gas Effect lose that fight? Hmm, I don't fucking know. Lame put in the bush. Who'd have thought? Fancy UAV goes up. Oh, dude. Look at all the kills we're about to get. Hmm. We could rotate this area. I think I want to rotate here first. There's a lot more cover. This right here, we could take the high ground, but we could get shot by this squad as well. So again, I'd rotate this area. These guys are running away anyway. But let's, let's see how this unfolds. Again, they're going to have a little bit of an angle on us once we hit this spot here. Oh, just kidding. They need to buy back. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, that's on me. I was too busy on my map. Forgot two of them to die. Just stupid shit. That's on me. Well, now that we bought, we don't want to close this gap. Just play the circle, play the ridge. Watch that those fucking buildings to your right-hand side are going to get clapped in the face. Once the circle collapses, we'll know where to go. All right, go ahead and rotate, man. Get out of here. They're already rotating early. Look at the mini-map, red vehicle. Oh, Blue, what are you doing, homie? Blue, we just fought you back. We don't want to lose you already. Purple giving us some aerial callouts. Good shit, teammate. Oh, yeah. Blue's dead. Oh, yeah. Now, look. We're making a lot of noise. And again, we're not playing the zone. The problem with that is, if these guys don't kill us, is that the enemies that are over here are going to be gatekeeping us. At least those guys have multiple vehicles. We don't have shit. So even if we survive this fight, which doesn't look like we're going to, this team is already doomed from the get-go. I want to see how these guys get themselves out of this position. It's already broken. It's already broken, honey. There you go. Oh yeah, this vehicle's coming for our, coming for blood, bro. Stealthiness is your best option right now. Oh yep, there goes that. Take the vehicle and run. Let let your teammate die. Let your teammate die. Let your teammate die. What? <laughs> what? He just ran that vehicle until it exploded. And then here, here we have Mac and Chasey. Hmm. Is this actually a way to spell Chase? Chase! Mac and Cheese, what are you looking the windows for, brother? Let's do something. Let's do, let, let, let's do something. Potentially could be a 2v, 2v, 4v, 4 right now. And we're so just oblivious to life. We might actually get rolled through. Oh, he wants to execute Braga. Braga, brother. Come on, man. There's a reason why Dominic Toretto fucked you up in Fast Five, son. Because you're doing super shit like this. Braga! No! You don't have to go for execute when it's a 1v2. He could outplay that situation. Doesn't matter though. Emma. Emma. Emma Burrito. Emma Burrito takes out Mac and Chase. We have enemies on top of us right now. Daddy chills. Camping up top. We're going to lay prone. We got enemy under us. Probably going to push the staircase to our left. We've got an enemy at the end of the hangar to the northeast. 
And a guy on top. They're converging on us like rats, and I love it. So where did this team go wrong? Well, they thought camping was the answer. Guys, I'm going to say it every day that we spectate videos because every day it happens because everyone does this shit. Well, they won. Good shit. Let's go, Predator. So, guys, when it's in-game or any part in the game, do not just camp corners. You have got to keep observation around your building. Otherwise, you allow the enemy to collapse on you like they did and hit you from multiple angles. If they would have been looking, they would have been peeking. They could have caught one guy out in the open. They could have caught both of them out in the open. They could have repositioned something. But... Even something, even a little of something would have been better what happened with them because nothing ended up happening. Stop camping corners and laying prone on shit. It is never the answer. You may get lucky, but it was not the correct answer. <laughs> Yo, Predator, great game, brother. Absolutely blowing through those two camping pussies sitting in the warehouse. How do you feel after that beautiful W? You feel fantastic. Dude, you hey, guys hey. played fantastic. I wish I could have spectated you the whole fucking game. You can join us. Ooh, daddy. <laughs> I'm done with it.